I like my Prime and Beam 231s, but the Bieber is way louder than I'd like it to be. Here's how it sounds, sorry about the background noise. That was the reference which I will compare to the quieter beeps after I've swapped one resistor inside this multimeter. Let's take this apart and see how I can make this quieter. After the rubber holster is off, there's one screw holding the battery cover. Then there are three screws, two under the battery cover and one on top of the meter. When I remove the back of the case, the buzzer is there. On the top corner of the main PCB, right there. Transistor Q13 and resistors R58 and 57 are used to drive the buzzer. When I followed the traces and figured out how these parts are connected, it was quite clear what I needed to do to reduce the volume. R58 is connected to the base of the transistor. If I remember correctly, the transistor is NPN transistor and the emitter is connected to the ground. R57 is connected to the collector and other side is connected to the buzzer. R58 is 10 kilo ohm and we don't need to change it. But R57 is what we are after. It is, I believe, yep, 300 ohm. It limits the current of the buzzer. I will replace it with a resistor with value in range of few kilo ohms to 10 kilo ohm. I happen to have this 4.3 kilo ohm resistor handy, so I'll use one of these. First I need to remove the original 300 ohm resistor. That is the one closest to the buzzer. I have my hot air tools in other room, so I will use regular soldering iron. When removing SMD resistors from the board, one can go back and forth, heating each of the patch repeatedly until both are melted at the same time. Quicker way is adding more solder to the game and putting the resistor in the molten blob of solder that is in the tip of the soldering iron. The old resistor has been removed and it seems like there's just enough solder for the new resistor. And the resistor that I don't want to change is still in place. Time to get the new resistor. Original was 0603 and the one I have here is 0402. That won't be a problem. When using sharp tweezers, these are just as easy to solder as 0603s, even for the patch made for bigger resistors. Okay, that looks good. Now it's time for the final test. Again, sorry for the background noise and crappy audio of onboard microphone. Here's the original for the reference. In my opinion this 4 point something kilo ohm resistor was a good choice. If you found this useful, don't forget to show it. Thanks. Bye.